the diagnosis is uh, typically done on clinical history and some examination and investi for investigations we typically do a three tesla mri nowadays with cis sequences because that shows the root entry zone of the nerve the area which is the most sensitive area and what is happening at that area there are certain neurological disorders which can give rise to trigeminal neuralgia like multiple sclerosis is one of them a small pontine in fact very rarely can give rise to trigeminal neuralgia previous history of meningitis sometimes give rise to trigeminal neuralgia so when we choose patients for surgery of course we uh, ask history very carefully and uh, choose these patients very carefully but having said this out of 100 96 to 97 percent patients will be candidates mri many a times with this good quality nowadays it shows a blood vessel but the presence of blood vessel is not necessary for surgical decision it is a very important thing that i'm telling you because small blood vessels or arterioles or venules can also cause compression and they are not seen on even the best of the mri now here you can see the trigeminal nerve and a black thing crossing it that is a blood vessel. This is what is called as typically neurovascular conflict. Here you can see a trigeminal nerve on this side which is normal and here there is a blood vessel and the nerve is has become uh, crooked like this. It is turning and then going in the microscope. So this is the compression. It is usually seen on MRI. But as I said, the presence of this conflict being seen on MRI is not necessary for the decision of the surgery.